Steve is Mr. Shane O'Sullivan, the Kerry Cowboy, August Falte, Geshakin at Gaelge. In this series, we're going to take a look at some of my favourite Irish language phrases to get you through life, love, and everything in between. Joining me today to discuss farming phrases is comedian Srini Kalwad. Now, Srini, I'm from a farming background myself, but have you spent much time in Verum? I have been on farms, but I've never worked on one. Also, I've noticed that the cows here are a lot bigger. Why is that the case? Well, look at all the fresh green grass they get. They're well fed, but we'll get to that. My first phrase for you today, it's one of those Irish phrases that relates to time, but has nothing to do with the clock, and that's Ergilka on Yaloon. Ergilka? On Yaloon. On Yaloon, it's down here. On Yaloon. Yeah, Ergilka on Yaloon. Ergilka on Yaloon. Mm, and that means the first thing in the morning, but it literally means at the tweeting of the sparrow. Would you be up that time now in the morning yourself, Srini? Um, as a comedian, it's late night, so I'd wake up to the tweeting of my phone in the afternoon, probably. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> Not a good thing. Need to change that, yes. Sticking with the healthy lifestyle, I have a great phrase for a strong fella like yourself if you want to flex the guns. Yeah, I know why you wore that shirt. And that's Holoder Lahar and Lai. Holoder Lahar and Lai. Yeah, and Lai. And Lai. So Holoder Lahar and Lai. Holoder, lahaher, and lai. On the va, very good. So that means as strong as the bull. Now it's not an exact translation. Aher and lai actually means the father of the calf. I'm pretty sure working on a farm is much better than working out in a gym. For the gains, no comparison. <laughs> Lastly, I have a great one, not just for the farm, but for life in general. And that's on meal a chruiter on vo. On meal a chruiter on vo. Yeah, on meal a chruiter on vo. On meal. A croiter and vo. Yeah, any guess what that means? I'm, I'm guessing croiter, something to do with a creature or an animal, something to do with an animal. No, you, you really can't depend on English when you're trying to work out what the Irish word means. So it means what you put in is what you get out. But it's one of these lovely agricultural Irish phrases, which literally means the cow is milked from her mouth. Okay. I'm sure that makes perfect sense now. It, it doesn't really, Shane, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> well, I suppose, what you put in is what you get out. If you feed the cow well, she's going to produce a lot of milk and high quality milk. That makes perfect sense now that you explain it. <laughs> More like, as you sow, so shall you reap. The exactly. English proverb, yeah? So now, Srini, with these new Irish farming phrases, do you feel ready to give me a hand on the farm? Absolutely, and I hope the cows are ready for my moo material. <sighs> You're really milking it with that one now. I'm sorry. 